in this video we are going to do some problems on total differential let us look at the first problem we need to find the total differential of the function z which is the quotient of two functions x square minus y square by x square plus y square z is a function of two independent variables x and y in the solution we will write down given z equals f of x comma y which is equal to x square minus y square by x square plus y square we need to find the total differential dz the total differential for a given function can be written as dz equals f of x times dx plus f of y times dy that is the total change in the dependent variable z is equal to partial derivative of z with respect to x times the change in x plus partial derivative with respect to y times the change in y let us first find the partial derivative with respect to x the partial derivative with respect to x is denoted by f subscript x using the quotient rule the partial derivative with respect to x of the quotient of two functions x square minus y square by x square plus y square is equal to denominator times partial derivative with respect to x of the numerator minus the numerator times partial derivative with respect to x of the denominator divided by the denominator raised to the power 2. Using the sum and difference rule, the partial derivative with respect to x of x square minus y square is equal to partial derivative with respect to x of the first term minus partial derivative with respect to x of the second term minus using the sum and difference rule, the partial derivative with respect to x of x square plus y square is equal to partial derivative with respect to x of the first term plus partial derivative with respect to x of the second term. Now since we are finding the partial derivative with respect to x, y must be treated as constant. Using the power function rule, the partial derivative with respect to x of x square is equal to 2x minus. Using the constant function rule, the partial derivative with respect to x of y square is equal to 0 minus. Using the power function rule, the partial derivative with respect to x of x square is equal to 2x plus using the constant function rule the partial derivative with respect to x of y square is equal to 0 2x minus 0 equals 2x minus 2x plus 0 equals 2x 2x times 2x square equals 2x cube plus 2x times y square equals 2x y square minus 2x times x square equals 2x cube minus 2x times y square equals 2x y square minus times plus equals minus 2x cube minus times minus equals plus 2x y square positive 2x cube can be cancelled out with negative 2x cube 2x y square plus 2x y square equals 4x y square therefore the partial derivative with respect to x is equal to 4x y square by x square plus y square whole thing square let us now find the partial derivative with respect to y the partial derivative with respect to y is denoted by f subscript y using the quotient rule the partial derivative with respect to y of the quotient of two functions x square minus y square by x square plus y square is equal to the denominator times partial derivative with respect to y of the numerator minus the numerator times partial derivative with respect to y of the denominator divided by the denominator raised to the power 2. Using the sum and difference rule, the partial derivative with respect to y of x square minus y square is equal to partial derivative with respect to y of the first term minus partial derivative with respect to y of the second term. Using the sum and difference rule, the partial derivative with respect to y of x square plus y square is equal to partial derivative with respect to y of the first term plus partial derivative with respect to y of the second term. Now since we are finding the partial derivative with respect to y, x must be treated as a constant. Using the constant function rule, the partial derivative with respect to y of x square is equal to 0 minus using the power function rule. The partial derivative with respect to y of y square is equal to 2y minus using the constant function rule the partial derivative with respect to y 
of x square is equal to 0 plus using the power function rule the partial derivative with respect to y of y square is equal to 2y 0 minus 2y equals minus 2y minus 0 plus 2y equals 2y minus 2y times x square is equal to minus 2x square y minus times plus equals minus 2y times y square equals 2y cube minus 2y times x square equals 2x square y plus times minus equals minus 2y times y square equals 2y cube minus times plus equals minus 2x square y minus times minus equals plus 2y cube negative 2y cube can be cancelled out with positive 2y cube minus 2x square y minus 2x square y equals minus 4x square y therefore the partial derivative with respect to y is equal to minus 4x square y by x square plus y square whole thing square let us now substitute the partial derivative with respect to x and the partial derivative with respect to y in the total differential formula plus times minus equals minus therefore the total differential dz is equal to but in bracket for x y square by x square plus y square whole thing square dx minus within bracket 4x square y by x square plus y square whole thing square times dy let us now look at the second problem we need to find the total differential of the function u equals x square plus 2xy plus y square whole thing q u is a function of two variables x and y in the solution we will write down given the function u equals f of x comma y which is equal to x square plus 2xy plus y square holding q the total differential for the given function can be written as du equals f subscript x times dx plus f subscript y times dy that is the total change in u due to change in both the independent variables x and y is equal to partial derivative with respect to x times the change in x plus partial derivative with respect to y times the change in y let us first find the partial derivative with respect to x the partial derivative with respect to x is denoted by f subscript x now we do have a formula to find the derivative of a variable raised to some power however we do not have a formula to find the derivative of an expression raised to some power so in this case we need to apply the chain rule let us assume that x is equal to the expression x square plus 2xy plus y square by assuming x is equal to the expression x square plus 2xy plus y square we can now find the partial derivative with respect to x of x to the power 3 using the power function rule the partial derivative with respect to x of x to the power 3 is equal to 3x square or 3x square plus 2xy plus y square holding square now since we have assumed that x is equal to the expression x square plus 2xy plus y square we need to again differentiate the expression x square plus 2xy plus y square with respect to x using the sum and difference rule the partial derivative with respect to x of x square plus 2xy plus y square is equal to partial derivative with respect to x of the first term plus partial derivative with respect to x of the second term plus partial derivative with respect to x of the third term now since we are finding the partial derivative with respect to x y must be treated as a constant using the power function rule the partial derivative with respect to x of x square is equal to 2x plus using the constant times a function rule the partial derivative with respect to x of 2xy is equal to 2y times partial derivative with respect to x of x plus using the constant function rule the partial derivative with respect to x of y square is equal to 0 the partial derivative with respect to x of x is equal to 1 therefore the partial derivative with respect to x is equal to 3 within bracket x square plus 2xy plus y square whole thing square within bracket 2x plus 2y let us now find the partial derivative with respect to y the partial derivative with respect to y 
is denoted by f subscript y. Now we do have a formula to find the derivative of a variable raised to some power. However, we do not have a formula to find the derivative of an expression raised to some power. So we cannot find a partial derivative with respect to y of x square plus 2xy plus y square raised to the power 3. So in this case, we need to apply the chain rule. Let us assume that y is equal to the expression x square plus 2xy plus y square. By doing so, we can now find a partial derivative with respect to y of y cube. Using the power function rule, the partial derivative with respect to y of y cube is equal to 3y square or 3x square plus 2xy plus y square whole thing square. Now since we have assumed that y is equal to the expression x square plus 2xy plus y square, we need to again differentiate the expression x square plus 2xy plus y square with respect to y. Using the sum and difference rule, the partial derivative with respect to y of x square plus 2xy plus y square is equal to partial derivative with respect to y of the first term plus partial derivative with respect to y of the second term plus partial derivative with respect to y of the third term. Now since we are finding the partial derivative with respect to y, x must be treated as a constant. Using the constant function rule, the partial derivative with respect to y of x square is equal to 0 plus using the constant times function rule, the partial derivative with respect to y of 2xy is equal to 2x times partial derivative with respect to y of y plus using the power function rule the partial derivative with respect to y of y square is equal to 2y the partial derivative with respect to y of y is equal to 1 plus 2y therefore the partial derivative with respect to y is equal to 3 within bracket x square plus 2xy plus y square whole thing square within bracket 2x plus 2y let us now substitute the partial derivative with respect to x and the partial derivative with respect to y in the total differential formula. Therefore, the total differential of the function is equal to 3 within bracket x square plus 2xy plus y square whole thing square within bracket 2x plus 2y times dx plus 3 within bracket x square plus 2xy plus y square whole thing square within bracket 2x plus 2y times dy. Let us now look at a third problem. We need to find the total differential of the function z equals log of x square plus y square. z is a function of two independent variables x and y. In the solution, we will write down given the function z equals f of x comma y which is equal to log of x square plus y square. We need to find the total differential dz. The total differential for the given function can be written as dz is equal to f subscript x times dx plus f subscript y times dy. That is the total change in the dependent variable z denoted by dz is equal to partial derivative of z with respect to x times the change in x plus partial derivative of z with respect to y times the change in y. Let us first find the partial derivative with respect to x. The partial derivative with respect to x is denoted by f subscript x. Now we do have a formula to find the derivative of log of x which is equal to 1 by x. However, we do not have a formula to find the derivative of the log of an expression. So in this case, we need to apply the chain rule. Let us assume that x is equal to the expression x square plus y square. By assuming x is equal to the expression x square plus y square, we can now find the partial derivative with respect to x of log x. The partial derivative with respect to x of log x is equal to 1 by x or 1 by x square plus y square. Now since we have assumed that x is equal to the expression x square plus y square, we need to again partially differentiate the expression x square plus y square with respect to x. Using the sum and difference rule, the partial derivative with respect to x of x square plus y square is equal to partial derivative with respect to x of the first term plus partial derivative 
with respect to x of the second term. Now since we are finding the partial derivative with respect to x, y must be treated as a constant. Using the power function rule, the partial derivative with respect to x of x square is equal to 2x plus. Using the constant function rule, the partial derivative with respect to x of y square is equal to 0. Therefore, the partial derivative with respect to x is equal to 2x by x square plus y square. Let us now find the partial derivative with respect to y. The partial derivative with respect to y is denoted by f subscript y. Now we do have a formula to find the partial derivative with respect to y of log y which is equal to 1 by y. However, we do not have a formula to find the partial derivative with respect to y of log of an expression. So in this case, we need to apply the chain rule. Let us assume that y is equal to the expression x square plus y square. By assuming y is equal to the expression x square plus y square, we can now find the partial derivative with respect to y of log y. The partial derivative with respect to y of log y is equal to 1 by y or 1 by x square plus y square. Now since we have assumed that y is equal to the expression x square plus y square, we need to again partially differentiate the expression x square plus y square with respect to y. Using the sum and difference rule, the partial derivative with respect to y of x square plus y square is equal to partial derivative with respect to y of the first term plus partial derivative with respect to y of the second term. Now since we are finding the partial derivative with respect to y, x must be treated as a constant. Using the constant function rule, the partial derivative with respect to y of x square is equal to 0. Plus, using the power function rule, the partial derivative with respect to y of y square is equal to 2y. Therefore, the partial derivative with respect to y is equal to 2y by x square plus y square. Let us now substitute the partial derivative with respect to x and the partial derivative with respect to y in the total differential formula. Therefore, the total differential of the function is equal to within bracket 2x by x square plus y square times dx plus within bracket 2y by x square plus y square dy.